Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evinrude, Lorance Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in the Fisherman's 2018 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details at thefisherman.com. Hey there, Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine. Uh, this week I'm coming to you uh, live out on the water, Long Island Sound. Uh, started off the day, we were targeting some bluefish. Got the cooler nice and filled right now on ice, bled out, so I'm going to do a little um, how-to on smoking of uh, the bluefish. Stay tuned to fisherman.com very soon. We'll have that up there for you. Great, great way to eat bluefish. And then once the tide died out, Made a little move, switched gear, put on some lighter spinning, and we have been hammering the false albacore. We got 21, 22 fish in a boat already. Three times that many hooked and, and dropped. So there is plenty of action going on right now here in Long Island Sound. Um, those blues, they've been kind of ranging anywhere 5 pounds to 10, 12 pounds, perhaps somewhere in that range. Uh, this same area, talking to Captain Greg at a Blackhawk, he's been doing the same thing on the strength of the tide, he's been uh, having his clients out jigging in the, the rips around the race and so on, and then when it slows down, make a move off down towards south side of Fishers, perhaps over to Montauk, drop the bottom rigs down, and they've been hammering some big porgies and some good sized sea bass. Uh, and and. As you work in that area now, the bigger fish have been really making that move to the east. The much better fish heading east as they always do this time of year. And along with that, we're starting to get some cod popping up. Not a lot of them quite yet, but there are some cod to be had mixed in. Um, Albies, as I said, they're here eastern Long Island Sound. I've heard them as far west as the Norwalk Islands. Heard them all the way up into Buzzards Bay, obviously, as far as the canal through Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket. Um, off the beaches of Rhode Island and talking about it, starting there in Rhode Island there continues to be really good action striped bass and bluefish in the breachways and along the surrounding beaches of South County. Uh, talking to Joe Bags, Joe Bags Bucktails, he had bassed a 30 plus pounds over the weekend. Uh, he was throwing his Patriot fish. He said he saw mixed bait fish in the breachway, uh, mullet, peanuts, silver side, so on, but specifically there was a lot of Atlantic needlefish in there. Prompted him to throw a slender Patriot fish, and that's what he got the bigger fish on. Uh, also, with those other bait fish, mullet, etc. Regular old school white bucktails have been producing, as well as your standard old swimmers drifting in the breachway, so there's a lot going on up there. The Martha's Vineyard Derby is in full swing right now, so we're going to check in with Wilson Kerr, see what he's got for updates on the action in and around Martha's Vineyard as we lead into the last couple of weeks of the Derby. Hey Toby, thanks very much. This is Wilson Kerr reporting in from Martha's Vineyard with the Striped Bass and Bluefish Derby. We've had an unbelievable three and a half first weeks. We still have just about two weeks left of the Derby. Uh, we have a new boat bass that just came in just under 40 pounds, a real monster. We have a 35 pound uh, shore leading bass. Over 50 shore bonito have been weighed in this Derby. We have lead changes just about every other day, it seems like. Huge bluefish also, 18 pounds leads the boat division. Uh, over 15 pounds uh, leads the shore division. Incredibly large bluefish. Um, false albacore, 15 pounds in the boat, uh, right around 12 pounds from the shore. Um, and the shore bass fishing has just been the story of the first third of the derby. Very, very good. We have tons of bait in. Uh, still two weeks of great fishing left. Come on down, experience the derby since 1946, a tradition. Our final award ceremony is October 14th. Uh, and that's in Oak Bluffs. We invite everyone to come down for that. That's it from the vineyard. Thanks very much, Toby. Back over to you. All right, cool. Thanks a lot, guys. Um, again, there's a lot of action going on right now heading into the weekend. And as always, if you plan to head out and fish this weekend, be sure to start off your trip by visiting a fisherman.com.